Hola chicos, Harry here from Chat Spanish, teaching you useful things the locals actually say. Astro Murray, this one's for you, mate. Osea, you asked about this. Let's cover it in today's video. This is a very, very common phrase in Spanish. And from my experience, there are two kind of use cases for Osea. The first one, you can translate it as, or rather, I mean. And this is an example here. Dame el lapis, o sea, las tijeras. Da, that is the imperative, a command from the infinitive da, dar. I don't know why I said it like that, which just means to give. So da me, give me the pencil, o sea, or rather, I mean the scissors. So it's kind of used in a corrective way here. Oh, I didn't mean to say the pencil, I meant the scissors. O sea, las tijeras. Or rather, I mean the scissors. So that's number one. Number two, in other words or meaning. And an example here, el tren llegó tarde, o sea, no vamos a la fiesta. The train, llegar, to arrive, the preterite tense here, the past tense, llegó, accent, you know me, I'm always going to say that, really pronounce that, tarde, late, o sea, meaning, no vamos a la fiesta. It means we're not going to go to the party. We missed the train. We're not going to go to the party. Oh, we, we, the train arrived late. We're not going to go to the party. So those are two, two use cases for Osea. The first one is a kind of corrective statement. Give me the pencil. Sorry, Osea, I mean the scissors. And the second is to provide a bit more context as an event happened. And this is also kind of what it means. The train arrived late, meaning we're not going to the party because we're going to be late for it. So those are the two cases. And the only other thing I'd add to this is Osea is, it's usually, from my experience, just spoken. I haven't seen it written down because it's more of a corrective thing in the moment. So obviously when you're speaking, you don't have time to think about things necessarily. So you're going to say it's always going to be spoken. And the second thing is very informal. So very colloquial kind of um, between friends. Osea, bueno, like that. So um, those are the final two things I'll add. Actually, I'll give you one more. You'll pick this up. You'll hear it loads and it will just come naturally. And that first time you just drop it in there without thinking is a great day. So I wish you all the best. Please do subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot to me. And make sure you watch the following video, which I've attached, which is my favorite phrase from the TV series Casa de Papel, known as Money Heist in English. Do give that a watch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment if you want me to comment, uh, make other videos like this video. And again, subscribe. Gracias, chicos. Ciao.